Yo, you Rue's friend, right? Yeah, since like preschool. Sorry, I don't know, I said that. Nah, you good? You met where you met. Yo, what was your name again? Lexi. Lexi. I like that. That's a nice name. Come on, I know your name, Jewel. <laughs> Have you seen Rue? Uh, yeah, she's somewhere around here. Is she? So, did you like have a good Christmas or are you Jewish or something? Yeah, well, my mom's Jewish, but she always says if the Christians can steal Christmas from the pagans, then the Jews can also. You say the Christians stole Christmas? Well, in order to convert the Germanic pagans who like celebrated winter solstice and stuff, the Christians were like, fuck it, let's just say Jesus was born this day and you can hang tinsel and stuff. How are you just going to change the man's birthday? Well, in the same way King James was rewriting the Bible on one side of the castle and had witches trying to turn his pee into gold on the other. Yo, how the fuck do you know all of this? I don't know, by reading. Do you like not believe in God? Damn, Lexi, you fucking fearless. Thanks. <laughs> Do you believe in God? Hell yeah, I believe in God. Like, there's a man sitting in the clouds judging all of your actions and stuff? Hell yeah. Can I ask you a personal question? What's up? How do you justify dealing drugs then? Well, I mean, my uncle Carl got diabetes from eating too much McDonald's. You don't see nobody going after their ass. Yeah, but if I were God, I don't know if I'd let McDonald's CEO in heaven. I'd be like, fuck that guy. Yeah, that's a good point. I have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> Where'd you go? I was starting to miss you. I was not sure. Why would I lie? You're like the coolest person in here. I had a cut soon, but I just want to tell you that talking to you was one of the best parts of my whole year. Yeah, right. Why are you always doing that shit? What? I don't know, like doubting yourself and shit. Oh, I don't know. Do I do that? Mm, kinda. Yo, can I like get your phone number or something? Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> Hope to see you soon, Lexi. Have a good night. You too. Why would you say that? What? Why do you even care? Because you just ruined someone's life. Fesco almost killed Nate. That was his decision. Lexi had thought about that night a lot. How could Fesco be so kind to her and so violent towards Nate? She couldn't remember the last time someone her age asked her so many questions about herself. He actually cared about what she had to say. And then 10 minutes later, And even if Nate deserved it, it was a horrible thing to do. It made her think about her entire life. She hated herself for being so weak and passive and afraid. So a couple of days after Cal came over, she decided to say something. I think it's cute that I'm so fucking stupid, tired of being useless. I've been up for three days, everything is haunted, everybody
everybody's evil and there's bugs inside the carpet Do you think I'm frightening? Organ cords and lightning If I show my fangs, will you tell me that they're cool? Lexi Howard, Hi. how you doing? Good, um... Hi, I'm Faye. I'm Lexi, um... Are you guys... Yeah, no, she's just staying with me for a bit. But but she's cool, though. What brings you out here, anyway? Oh, I just came to get a, a drink. Okay, well, we got plenty of those. Do uh, you need help finding anything? No, I'm okay. Oh, uh, that's the malt liquor. Yeah, I know. Yo, sorry I didn't get to say goodbye on New Year's. Good evening. Did she tell you who I am? Nah, man. It was at some point while breaking branches off a tree in order to camouflage a bucket of kitchen knives in a bush that Lexi started to have second thoughts about putting on her play. Well, you know what you should put in the play. That time I beat Nate's ass at that party. No! <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. Cassie isn't doing too well. I'm worried that she's going to see the play and then she's going to freak out. Yeah, I mean, everybody gets their feelings hurt, you know. Some people, some people need to get their feelings hurt sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, it's like the first time in my life I'm doing something for myself. Shit. <laughs> what exactly is the idea behind the play? I don't know. It's, it's like about a group of girlfriends who sort of grow up and grow apart. Damn, so it's kind of like a Stand By Me vibe. Yes, exactly. I love that movie. That's Hell exactly yeah. it. <laughs> Come on, now I've watched that film like 50 times. How are you really? That's my shit. Come on. In fact, my, my grandma has it on DVD, you know. Should we watch it? Uh... I don't understand. I thought you hated Nate. Wait, is this why you ratted on Fezco? No. Oh my God, that's why you did it? No! That's why you said something? Because you were sleeping with him? No! I don't, I don't know the exact date. Okay, well, was it before or after New Year's? I don't know! You know why Fezco did what he did? No, do you? No, I do. No, I'm not going to tell you because you'll tell Nate. I don't fucking trust you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. In the night. <laughs> got something in my fucking eye. <laughs> And the land is dark, and the moon <laughs> is the only light we'll see. No, I won't be afraid. Oh, I won't be afraid just as long as you stand, stand by me. Shed a tear just as long. As you stand, stand by me. And darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Walk oh, stand now. Stand by me. Stand by me. <laughs> this shit go hard. <laughs> But for real though, if, if your play is anything like Stand By Me, you're not gonna have no problems. <laughs> for the last few months, Lexi had been talking to Fezco every day. But I still don't understand what the play is actually about though. It's about friendship. Well, that's nice. Everybody's gonna love that. Yeah, I mean, I hope so. I just, 
I keep second guessing myself and getting anxious, like if people are gonna think that it's good or bad or if it's gonna upset people or not. But why would anyone be upset by it? Oh, you know, it's, it's based on real people. Yeah, you really stroking the bee's nest with that one. Am I? I mean, someone invited me to a play and they didn't even tell me I was a character in it. I definitely have some questions. Like bad questions? Depends on the play. Well, would you be upset by it? Depends on the play. Right. And the intentions of the person who made the play. My intentions are good. Then you ain't got nothing to worry about. But what if they think my intentions aren't good when in reality they are good? Well, that's what I call a quandary. What's the answer? Uh, wait, what was the question again? Like, what happens if Cassie sees the play and thinks I'm being cruel even though I'm not? Well, how about you just don't invite her then? No, she gets so mad. Even more mad than if she actually saw the play? That's, I don't know. Taking the smallest moments and dreaming them up into something bigger. Of course I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be sitting in the front row, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you that. Okay. A little exchange and I fall in love. Lexi wilding out today. My God, that really burns. <laughs> My whole life I've always had this feeling that at any moment, something horrible was about to happen. <laughs> Yo, you got her looking like that, that white guy with the afro. You be painting on TV. Look at Bob. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, it's a fire. Gotta, it's a fire. Go. Come on, come go. on. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, your friend never came to pick up his ticket. Oh yeah. Man. Woo! All right, there. I'm finna head out. Yeah, I'm about to leave right now. Do you ever think about the future? Yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah. Like you have a plan? I mean, I don't, I don't got like a plan plan, but I be thinking about Living on a farm, you know? I don't really see you as a farmer. Yeah, fuck it. Get some horses, cows, pigs, chickens, goats. Have a little family. Like some little house on the prairie type shit, you know? I don't know if I know that show. You never heard of a little house on the prairie? Okay, this might sound kind of crazy, but my plan is to have like three kids at 30. Like each one a year and a half apart, so from 30 to 58, I can focus on, you know, being a good mom and raising my kids, et cetera, et cetera, and then drop the last one off at college at 58, which will give me like 32 years to focus on me and live my life and take my time with writing. I mean, you really got this shit all figured out, huh? Yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? I mean, they got, they got three kids in that show. You think you'd have a gun? Hell yeah, I'd own a gun. I hate guns. Nobody's ever got shot at and thought to themselves, oh, thank goodness we didn't have a gun to shoot back, you know? Yeah, but then what are the police for? Fucked if I know. Shit. Wait, are you on Instagram or Twitter? Hell no. Nah. Really? Yeah. Why? 
Well, why would I want anybody knowing what I'm thinking or feeling? I don't know. You can connect with people who have similar interests. Yeah. I just feel like people be sharing way too much on there. Online? Yeah. They be ruining the mystery, you know? Like, say if I like a girl, I want to find out what she's about on my own, you know? I don't want to Google the scraps. I want to I wanna peel back the layers. Yeah, but like, why would you want to waste time getting to know someone if you don't have anything in common with them? I don't know. That's what I like about you the most, though. Like, we don't really have nothing in common. That's not true. We both have the same sense of humor and are empathic and curious and want to have, like, kids. Those aren't interests, you know, those are... Real character traits. That's, that's the important shit that, that people don't post online. Yeah, I never thought about it that way. Mm hmm aren't you glad that we became friends? Yeah, <laughs> very much so. Yeah, me too. <laughs> A little bit ago, I was talking to a friend about this play, and I asked him, what if I upset people? And he said to me, sometimes people need to get their feelings hurt. Um, so even though he couldn't be here with us tonight, this one's for you. But if the reason it felt like a movie was because I wanted to believe that losing you is a part of a larger story, one that maybe I could, maybe I could still shape.